I'm Omar Gooden. I'm Angel Conwell. And you are watching Studio, Studio Q. Q. Hey. Season, what do you attribute to the success of the show? I mean, season three, that's pretty big. Angel Conwell. <laughs> he likes to let me, ladies first type. No, that's what I attribute to the third season. Oh. You know how much fan mail we get talking about, who is that sister playing your wife, yeah. homie? I'm playing. You better get that, homie. Yeah, yeah man, stop playing games. Stop playing games. <laughs> it's, it's Omar. I think, you know, I think we've lucked up and, and we've been very blessed to have a great. A production team, executive producer, creator, and then writers and everything that comes all together. And then we come together, and I think we have been blessed to have a nice chemistry as well. We get along very, very well. We first worked together on Baby Boy, and so we, we you know, we have a rapport. And you know, I like him. He's I, right, you know. You ain't even gonna ease into that. You gonna jump right into that. Just jump right into dating. So how does that add to the chemistry that you guys have? It definitely helps. It helps. Yeah. It helps. Because we're know. already comfortable with each other. Yeah. You know, yeah. we know. Then in the uncomfortable other. scenes, I remember them times too. So we get it just it falls right back in. It falls I right back in. Everything I did, Good it's time. all comfortable. Yeah, no, everything So was, it everything helps. Was it really does. Well, no, it helps is that we, we remain friends. Yeah. That's what helps. That's a big we, deal. You know, how that are you definitely. How do you do that and work together? God is good. Yeah, really, because that uh, doesn't happen that often from what I'm hearing. Exactly. Well, I mean, we, we genuinely liked each other yeah, like, as people, yeah. you know? Well, I mean, when we worked together and they were like, we need y'all to hang out. Like, we was already going to hang out. Right. Well, that's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, but yeah. you know, get a chemistry going. Brother, we got a chemistry. I don't understand <laughs> if you don't get this. We, they said cut. We kept going. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, no, that definitely helped. Well, I mean, you guys are shooting. You can tell by your outfit. You guys are going back to the 80s and 90s. Yes. I, 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 I haven't gotten a wardrobe yet. I don't know. <laughs> He came this in is, like this. this is, uh, Try it. I woke like up it. like this. <laughs> so what is it like to show like surrounded by that era, something mm, like that? Yeah. Oh, oh, take I'm it so back. Excited. Take it back. I was only four, so I don't know. <laughs> I worked with Salt and Pepper. My first job ever was a pilot with Salt and Pepper. I played Pepper's daughter. So Are that's a serious? tidbit. Of, oh, yeah, and Richard exactly. Gant, who's also who plays Omar's father Richard on the Gant. show, played Richard my Gant. grandfather and played Papa's father, uh, Pepper's father on the show. So it kind of all connects, wow. and it's oh, yeah. all very much. Oh, yeah. yeah, it really is, and it all comes back. It goes. It's, it's 360 type of situation. Yeah, we have a lot of wonderful guest cast this season, yeah. uh, and it is. It does feel like a big family reunion up in here. Yeah. Bentley knows how to bring us all together. You yeah. know, and keep us together. And, uh, and he, he has a lot of, you know, familiar faces and also fresh faces, which is what I love, too, about Bentley. He, al yeah. he always employs good actors, talented actors, not oh, just yeah. people that you already know, but new faces that you're, you're not familiar with yet. So Absolutely. I think that's always a, an important thing to do. Yeah. Now tell us, you are <laughs> funny all the time. Like he's on even when he's not on. So, I don't know what you mean. So, has, is, that, is he naturally funny <laughs> or has he developed over doing so many sitcoms throughout the years? A little of both. A little of both. Uh -oh. It's hard to get. Oh, yeah, hello. <laughs> you know it. Uh, the interview wars. What? <laughs> uh, oh, what? What? Oh, an angel over here. <laughs> like, stop so it. Don't, here, don't, just in case you're not here. Yeah, yeah. Just in case you here. Woo! She like don't cut in the They can't hear us. <laughs> we got a whisper on interview. Something coming. We love something coming. No, we do. So this, I mean, humor. I've always acted, acted. My whole family is hysterical. Like uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, it's ridiculous. My sister actually does stand up comedy, and my brother's a nut. Yes, he is. He's got. A, we actually worked together for the first time on a show called Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. And I didn't realize how funny it was. Like they were doing stuff. That, a lot of stuff that didn't make it and that was on the recently, air. Right? Yeah, it just, it just aired. As a matter of fact, and he's. He's crazy. He's crazy. And it's how fun. do you get into your comedic space? Because I know you balance Young and the Restless. Yeah. And family time. So how do you take off that hat and put on this one? I think I'm more. I'm, I, I'm my natural personality is a little bit silly, which is what I enjoy. Because I'm not actually like I'm, I'm a little shy in everyday life. But when I'm comfortable around somebody, like that's what. What? See, but he knows me, so I'm comfortable around him, which is why I'm happy that it's, it's him and I playing husband and wife. Because I feel like I just feel like I'm being myself a little bit. So it's not t tough for me. I'm actually just funny. Funny. All the time. <laughs> That's how you really feel. Modest too. I'm very and, and very modest. I keep it humble. <laughs> you know. Such an iconic guy who did iconic shows. Yeah. He's awesome, man. He doesn't. He, really he doesn't is. like. 
restrict us. He lets us do our thing. You know, we get the scripts, we take them home, we come back and say, we want to try this. You know, yeah. we still be like, is this cool? We're like, let's just do it. Yeah. You know, let me get one in the tank that I like. You know, once we got one for yeah. safety, and, and then with, we'll do some stuff that we'll probably not use later. Right, and uh, with all we'll of his credits and everything he's done, Martin the Jamie Foxx show, and so on and so on and so on, he's just so down to earth, and he really yeah, he respects true. us all. You know, as individuals and as talent, he lets us. He, he gives us the opportunity to just be. You yeah. know, as opposed to being. You know, he, he, he directs, but he just gives us freedom. Absolutely. So it's nice because you don't always. You're not always put in a situation like that. So well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. It's a mm -hmm. blessing. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And all his checks are always on time. Everything clears. He's a good dude. He's a good That's dude. very important. <laughs> baby do. What is that? Oh, baby. Oh, baby do do. Yeah, yeah. This interview's over. <laughs> <laughs>